Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm bringing you your 19th SAS tutorial, and I'm going to be talking about placeholder selectors, which is a new feature for SAS 3.1 or 3.2.1. So if you are not on 3.2.1, please watch the previous video, get um, up to date, and then come back to this video, okay? So placeholder selectors, what they are, it's it's sort of like, uh, a good way to look at it is sort of like mix-ins, right? But instead of copying that code and placing it into your uh, CSS like a mixin does, your a mixin's pretty much just a placeholder where it's going to drop that code in. This is sort of works a little differently. And what it's going to do is you define a chunk of code and then uh, you extend that code into um, a class and what it really ends up doing is adding that class to the block of code instead of adding the code to the class okay so that might sound a little bit complicated but when you see it in action it's really nice and it's really cool so it might be a cool alternative if you're looking to do something like this and I'm really happy it's in SAS okay so first off we're just going to use an ID of main let's say this is like the main div on our site all right and we're gonna fill this with the normal stuff um, let's use color white and we do background uh, color of blue and then we can just do like a font size uh, 14 pixels okay so just you know pretty standard okay so we have it our code here you can say it's you know pretty normal CSS so let's say we know we're, we don't know exactly what we're going to do with this code, but we know we're going to use it on divs, not the main container. We're going to use this on something within the main container, okay? So we need to have uh, a div, and then what we're going to use is the percent sign, and then we're going to use a variable name. So this will just be, uh, we'll save it as blue, okay? So let's save this. And now if we come over here, you'll notice it's disappeared. Um, that's because it's now treating this sort of like a mix-in, right? Let's let's actually apply it to something and see what happens. We're going to want this to be applied to any divs within main that have a class of um, sign. Okay, we're going to do dot sign, and then inside of sign, all we're going to put is at extend, and then the name of the variable we had before, which was percent blue. And then we need to finish it off with a semicolon, and we'll save this. And now let's check out exactly what's happening in our CSS. Okay, so as you can see here, now it's actually added some code. It's given any div with a class of sign, um, a color of white and all this stuff right well we can even get rid of this div whatever we'll just hit the percent blue there and now it's going to find anything at all with the class sign that it, and give it this characteristics and that's pretty cool well, what let's say later down the line we're writing some code and we also want um we also want these divs that are called uh box they're just called box and we also want them to have those classes too uh or those item those properties so let's do at extend again and then we're also give the percent blue and now let's click over and as you can see what it didn't do is have another uh, ID of main class of box and then repeat all this code it's just separated these by a comma and added them together if we were doing a mixin it would actually repeat that block of code so this is really great for this don't repeat yourself and it works really well um, so it's one of those things where it keeps your code a little bit cleaner you can do it a little bit differently if this is how you are going to write your CSS in the first place use this technique instead of writing a mixin and your CSS is going to be a little bit cleaner or more like you would have intended for it to be in the first place so to drive this point home, I'm actually going to, let's delete this uh, ID of main. We'll save this. Okay, now let's click over here. And now it just gives anything with the, the class of sign or the class of box, all these things. Okay, so look at this. We have our, our block of code. Instead of repeating that block of code, we're just assigning which classes get that block of code. Pretty cool, okay? So these are placeholder selectors in SAS 3.2.1. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Level Up Tuts on Twitter. Let us know what you're thinking. Once again, this is Scott, and thanks for watching.